Instead of wasting your money on packs and getting jack shit in them, might as well just buy coins from FIFA Ultimate Team Coins and get the players that you want, the team of the year, team of the week, or whatever players that you want, and make sure you use the code MASTER for 5% off. Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Games Master 1 here. Today, I'm gonna bring you guys another episode of Mastering Divisions, and before we get into this, I am going to live stream today. I had so much fun live streaming on the weekends. I literally spent three hours playing against subscribers, and you know what? I want to do that again. I'm going to live stream at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, 5 p.m. Uh, UK time. So just like two hour, 40 minutes before the Champions League game. We'll live stream for a couple of hours until the game starts. I'll play against subscribers, or I could play in the Gamer Saloon, or play in the French tournament, whatever you want. I'll live stream, and I'll do whatever you guys want. Just join the stream. It's Twitch. Uh, the, the link for my Twitch is in the description. Again, if you could follow me on Twitter if you want, I'll tweet at you when I'm going on. But just follow me on Twitch and be there. I promise I will be there. And yeah, in this episode I got quite a few games because I just want to go through this series not as fast as possible, but at a faster pace. I don't want to do one, two, one or two games an episode. I want to try to go through as many games as possible, hopefully to get to Division 1, hopefully before Team of the Season. But yeah, let's get into this. So over here, this guy, so this is, I'm using this really sick 4 triple 2 team, and honestly, Vargas has to be the, one of the best strikers in the game. Look at this finish, man. Look at that. That's such a clean finish, and Vargas, he's such a low-rated player. I feel like he's underused in this game, but that is such a clean finish. He's hands down. I'll bet my life on it. He is one of the best strikers in FIFA 15. He's so fucking... Look at that header, man. Look at that header. He's so good. He's incredibly good. Him and Lacazette up top, they're so good. Look at Lacazette here using his pace. Because, again, these guys not only have pace, but they have skill moves. So I pass it a lot. Then all of a sudden, I just go on a skill run and pace run, and my opponents don't have time to react. Again, it's all about switching gameplay. If you're doing like right trigger the whole game then your opponent's going to be waiting for you to come to him holding that right trigger but if you're passing it a lot and just walking and dribbling in your spot then all of a sudden you hold right trigger your opponent's just going to get confused and lost and he's not going to know what to do and over here Fekker is one of my favorite uh, I don't know what I'm going to place that like look at Vargas he's straight from kickoff buries out his four star weak foot oh my god I, I literally I could write an essay about how good Vargas is I, I could write a book I could write a novel how good Vargas is look at Fakir you're trying to do some skill moves with this guy Rainbow, roulette, drag moves, body feints, just fucking with this guy again when I'm up by three four goals that's when I start trying to beat a whole team using one player or trying to hit them rainbow volleys or try to do whatever and the game ends 5-2 four goals for Vargas and we're dominating here again we started this division shit we used we used the Portuguese team we had two losses and a tie we just started back and like now we're using this team and we're just running through the six with my woes <laughs> it's six division you get it running through the six and like Sixth division, get it, get it, ha ha ha. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so over here, we're changing the kids. Somebody told me in the comment section, change your kids, Tony. I'm like, oh, sure, let's go. We're able to pick classic Arsenal and classic Manchester City, which are pretty cool jerseys for 150 coins, really bright red, and just one full black. That's pretty good, especially when choosing jerseys. You want to choose something with unique colors. I hate it when I play against opponents that have, like, white and red or white and black. It's like, if I have... Two white jerseys then, then was, like, it's not going to work out. So, yeah, if you're choosing jerseys, either choose, like, I don't know, full green, full blue. Just choose distinct colors so you don't have to mess up with your opponent. So we go our second game here with our amazing team, and we come up against this team. Again, this is still Division 6, and that's a really, really good team. Neymar Bale, second in from Lacazette, Benzema in from Menes, Thiago Silva... Uh, Dad Luis, I was like, uh, I'm gonna play against a good team. It always worries me when I play against good teams. But nevertheless, we got Fakir, we got Vargas. Look at here, Fakir with the chip live! And the keeper saves it, unfortunately. <laughs> Fakir here gets the ball back straight after that volley, not volley, fucking power shot buries that with his left foot. He has four star skill moves and two star weak foot. I highly recommend it. If you're trying to play in the French, French tournament looking for a center attack in mid, French center attack in mid, I highly recommend him. I really do. Try to look, make a cheap team, put him as a center attacking mid, put Varg, I'm not Vargas, put Benzema and Lacazette up top. I think you can't go wrong with that. 
From here, Fair with the long shot, and we hit the post. We hit so many posts from that angle with Fair and Matuidi. Vargas here. What do you think? Vargas, of course, is not going to do a mistake. Lacazette with a little toe punt, whatever you want to call it. Look at that replay, because I felt that was like an awkward shot. Look at it. Boop. <laughs> he literally just like toe punt. Look at Vargas here. Skill cutting, pace, drag, tap it in. Vargas is the best striker in the BPL in FIFA 15. I'm not going to say in real life. I don't watch in real life. I'm saying in FIFA 15, it's just OPS. But look at this one. I beat the keeper. Instead of dragging left, I drag right. And that was like, had to be one of the worst decisions I ever made that game. It was 3-0. I wasn't too worried. Vargas here. Body faint. Finish. 4-0. Just dominated running through the six. With my woes, look at that. Halftime report, zero shots, zero on target, 40% possession. I'm telling you, and this guy had Bale, Neymar, second in from Lacazette. He had in forms, he had expensive players, but dude, it's not about the players. It is, kind of to a certain degree, but you don't need expensive players to win. That's This is the whole meaning of this road to Division 1 thing. People tell me, hey, Tony, uh, you don't. I don't know. You have sponsors, all that bullshit. I just want to show you. You can get to Division 1 without buying coins. Players are not that expensive. There's some really OP players that aren't expensive at all. Look at that chip from Facker right there. I could have buried that shot, but I was like, eh, let's chip it. 5-0, we win that game. Just dominating, dominating. Again, hopefully, I'll be able to bring you guys Division 1 gameplay with this team sometime down the road. Again, I'm going to try to get through to Division 1 as fast as possible. So we get three W's in a row with this team. So the other team, I got a draw. I got a loss. This team, I got three wins in a row. And uh, we're not going to stop here. We're going to try to go all the way, at least get the Division 6 title in this episode. We come up against a really nice team. Again, I've been seeing this Nepenthe squad thing. Just the Bale, Neymar, Suarez thing up top. The 4-3-3 with the work rates and all that stuff. Look at Fekker here with the chip life. And we hit the crossbar. Every game, like first five minutes, I try to live the chip life with Fekker. Comes real close. Suarez here. I think that was Bale actually with that finesse shot. Real close. Quick one, two with Vargas Lacazette. Incredible pace, incredible agility. You gotta be really fast. I have no idea what happened there. But whew, I thought that should have been the goal. Vargas, near post, right bumper. Usually those go in the back of the net. I don't know why. Hit the crossbar there. Again, this guy hit the crossbar twice. So I felt like bad. And like here, Neymar. Walked straight through the Lalana. Look at me. Horrible defending. That's just all my fault, man. I did not step up tackle. I just tried to contain him. Didn't work out that much. Here, Ferry goes for the sweat. I'll take it. When I play against... Benzema Bale with a cheat team. I'll I'll score whenever I can. Over here, it almost goes in. Just I need to push it a little bit more to the left. So one one. We're trying to push up again. This guy was not not only had a good team. He was a really good opponent. Fair here with a clean finish. I had to build up that attack so much. Still 70th minute. I build up that attack so much. Really close. I had to hold him defensively, which was really hard. And here we go for the final sweat of the game, which is unlucky on his part. He could have stopped that probably. But we're going to get that goal. So we're going to end that game at 3-1. Again, call me sweaty. But when I play against those players, I need to score on every opportunity I get. And there we secure the promotion. And now we just need one game for the title. And I just want to post this for you guys. Just showing you that I'm selling uh, all my Liga Portuguesa team. Because they could fucking kiss my ass. And they sucked balls. <laughs> so link me to teams that you want me to use. Some... I'm feeling Dos Santos. I want to use Dos Santos, Cersei again, Uche, Benzema. Because, again, I feel like La Liga, I could build nice teams. Try to build me a, a Dos Santos, Cersei, slash Serie A hybrid squad. I'll be really interested to build a Serie A squad. I haven't used them yet in the series. I saw Tavis is going for 5,000. Like, you could build a decent squad for, like, cheap. Over here, I did this, like, time 8. This was so fast, fast forward. Now, I apologize if you're getting a seizure. But, I don't know, I was just fast-forwarding through everything, just kind of get you guys through this. I don't want to upload, again, I don't want to upload one episode, one or two games in an episode. I want to try to bring you guys the series against the Division 1. Hope you guys saw that squad. It was a decent squad, nothing that's, but it was actually less than decent compared to the Suarez and Bale teams. Look at this long shot by Fekker. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, pick him up in that French tournament. He won't disappoint. He's upgraded from silver. 
I love this series because I get to learn a lot of players like I would never use. Look at that for a long shot. Got that on his left foot. Saw that far post. Boom. Look at that dip. Hit the post. That was a fucking amazing shot. Vargas here. Uh, looks for that through ball. Gives it to Lacazette. Lacazette here. Lacazette cuts. Taps it in. 2-0. Fifth minute or something. Like, come on. We need the better competition. Let's get to D3 and we see that. Look at Del Luis. Del Luis. <laughs> left, right, left, right. When you're going there, just hold A full strength. Odds are it'll end up with your player somehow. And this guy's 17th man, he was like, you know what? I had fucking enough of this bullshit. And he rage quits and we get the Division 6 title. Running through the 6 with my woes. You know how she goes. <laughs> So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode again. I would really like you guys to come to the live stream show. It would be real fun. I'll play against all of you if you think you want to challenge me. And yeah, this is Mr. Games Master 1 here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like this video, comment below. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.